Soko Glam is a beauty blog co-founded by Charlotte Show. At KCON, she spoke all about acne and shared her knowledge about skincare routines for the summer with us. So I'm here with Charlotte Shaw from Soko Glam for the second cake on in New York. And since I interviewed her last year, so many things have happened. She's released the little book of skincare uh, last year. And recently, this earlier this month, she started the clog. Charlotte, how do you feel about all these changes? I think that it's wonderful. I'm so excited and very thankful to have all these opportunities. Um, people are obsessed with Korean beauty, not only in the US, but everywhere else in the world. And so I'm so excited that my book has done really well in the US. I just see Korean beauty, Korean culture just expanding worldwide. Wow, it's good to see that um, Korean beauty has definitely expanded to even like Europe and other parts uh, outside Asia as well. And that's why I started the clog.co, which is a Korean beauty content site and that's focused on really sharing about Korean beauty trends and giving them an in-depth look into real Korean women's routines. So Charlotte, this is the second time you've been invited to KCON. How do you feel about this year compared to last year? Oh my gosh, it's just expanded so much. I've seen all the booths. There's so much more than before. And I see a lot of people who are non-Asians really coming in. And I've talked to so many people that attend. And I visited your booth earlier, um, actually, and you were playing some games and giving some advice. So what did you think about all of all of that? So people are definitely excited because they want to know how Korean women have amazing skin. And so we give skin consultations and we're also giving out free full size products if you, you know, win the prize wheel game. So it's just been so fun interacting with everyone. So now I want to ask you about the Korean actors and actresses and even K-pop artists. You see them on screen, they have such flawless skin, but were they always this blemish free? Um, I found that talking to a lot of these celebrities, you know, they have skin conditions like acne, they have brown spots. They definitely deal with the same issues that normal people deal with. And one thing that I wanted to talk about during this KCON um, is acne and how to treat it. Because, you know, people deal with acne. Every single person has had a pimple in their life. And so through Korean products and through Korean techniques, how can you treat that? So that's kind of my goal for this year, just talking about that routine and how to better your situation. So what do you think is the best way to manage acne or to get more flawless skin? So first of all, it all starts with cleansing. Korean celebrities, they have a lot of makeup on because they have photo shoots, they have their shows, and you know, there's involves makeup. Makeup actually mixed with bacteria and excess oil, that is a recipe for disaster. That's a recipe for acne. So in order to remove any dead skin cells and bacteria and excess oil, you really need to cleanse your skin thoroughly. That's why the double cleanse is so popular in Korea because they really want to make sure their skin is free of any impurities. Right. So you would start with an oil-based cleanser like the Vanilla Co Clean and Zero. This really helps melt away any excess oil and also pollution and sunscreen and makeup. And then you would follow it up with a gentle water-based cleanser. This is from Cosarex, the low pH good morning cleanser and it really helps clean the rest of the impurities. And and lately in Korea, people have been starting something called a triple cleanse. A triple cleanse? That's new to me. <laughs> what does it involve? So triple cleanse means if you have heavy makeup on, you would use a cleansing tissue to remove any of that stubborn makeup along the eyes and the eyebrows and even the eyelashes. So you start with that, then you go into your double cleanse, which is an oil-based cleanser and then a water-based cleanser. And I know a lot of people with acne, they're dealing with redness. This is a great product to just soothe your skin. It's a cleansing water with real calendula petals. This helps to calm, soothe irritated skin very gently, suited for sensitive skin types. Calendula is a great anti-inflammatory. If you do end up having acne, one of the products that I recommend is this Cosarex Acne Pimple Master Patch. This is a- Oh, uh, I think I've seen them before. Yeah. You put them over, right? You can... Yeah, you put them over your acne and it's really great way to keep your dirty hands away from your acne. And also, this is a special type of sticker that actually helps flatten out cystic acne. It draws out the impurities. It's pretty crazy. It's That's what it effective. does. Yeah. Okay. So I always have this in my bag just in case because you never know when you're going to get pimple. 
another favorite product um, is this Cosarex BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. It's a great way to chemically exfoliate. So inside your pores, you have bacteria, dead skin cells, and excess oil. In order to clean out those pores thoroughly, you need a chemical exfoliant, which is this liquid, and you'd use it after cleansing. And you wouldn't use this all over your face, but you'd apply areas that you generally have blackheads. Another way to take care of excess oil is using a sheet mask like this one here, the Neogen Dermology Blemish Soothing and Sebum Controlling Mask. So a lot of people think that, okay, mask is all about hydration. Well, in Korea, they're coming out with a lot more masks, and this one happens to help control excess oil. You no know, sheet masks are definitely becoming very popular now. I mean, outside in KCON, you see so many booths that sell sheet masks. Um, so why, do, why is it becoming so popular, and is it because it's convenient, or compared to traditional masks? It's, it's very effective. These sheet masks, they really help your skin mingle with skin benefiting ingredients such as essence. A lot of people love showing off that they're using sheet masks because it's a fun way to Instagram and right. take, yeah. So Charlotte, I know that after um, your acne treatment, you maybe you're left with some scars. I know I am left with some scars. So how would you treat, like how would you lighten those scars or those dark spots? Yeah, so that's a big complaint. People say that, you know, I've gotten rid of the acne, but what's left over is also, you know, something that they don't want to have, which is like brown spots or discoloration. They call it hyperpigmentation. So one product I highly recommend is a vitamin C serum. This is from Claire's. It's a freshly juiced vitamin drop. And you just apply this in areas you have dark discolorations and it really helps even out that skin tone and make it lighter. Also another product that I really recommend is a sunscreen because sunscreen helps prevent you from even getting the dark spots to begin with Right. because the sun is actually very powerful and when you have acne it thinks that this acne is a wound so your skin tries to protect itself which causes that discoloration uh. but if you protect your skin with sunscreen there will won't be any extra melanin produced. That's a very helpful tip. Yeah, sunscreen is important not just to protect yourself from skin cancer, but also from dark spots. So thank you, Charlotte, for all that information. You're welcome. I'm really passionate about sharing my skincare tips and really helping people gain confidence and knowledge about their skin. So check out Charlotte on her social media and um, check out Soko Glam, where you can buy all these amazing products. So thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you too.